We are here with Michael the Grinder Mizraki, appropriately in the Planet Hollywood Poker Room. Now, Mike, tell us about your affiliation with the Planet Hollywood Poker Room. Well, first off, um, I'm more of the face of the poker room. See on all these tables right here, it's going it to say in the middle, Grinder's Poker Room, the logo, and when you walk in, it should say the same thing. And um, just, it's a thing like nobody, it's just sort of like Daniel Grotto had with the win. But it's, I guess, a little different here. Maybe it's going to be, they're going to market me more and, and just make it like it's my poker room, you know what I mean? And, and people would be excited to play with me. And we're going to run my own tournaments, $120 buy-ins, Monday, Mondays through Fridays and Sundays as well at 7 o'clock. And um, whoever knocks me out gets a $300, $300 bounty. It's pr promo chips. And if, I'm not, if I don't show up, it's upon my schedule, then the winner gets $300 of promo chips. Okay. So it should be pretty neat. And... Um, I'm willing to, you know, play any cash game, whatever anybody like to play, whatever I can afford, actually. <laughs> so how did you come to be affiliated with Planet Hollywood? Well, actually, at the time, it was pretty good. I had a year I had a year with Absolute, you know, a year and three option years, and they decided to lay me back. And it was a group of great guys, you know, me, Mark Safe, Lacey Jones, and um, a few other guys on the team. You know, I had a lot of fun with Absolute, but, you know, I guess it was time to move on and to get to bigger and better things, so... I, you know, I chose Planet Hollywood and, and a group of great guys here, and I'm very happy to work with them, and I'm very happy to be here. So when you're in the tournaments, have you actually won any of the tournaments here yet? Well, actually, my, I, I played a few tournaments, the $60 tournaments. I haven't won yet. I made, I made, I made money off the last longest. I made more, I a bunch of friends that played it. Okay. So I made more with first place was in last longest, and I decided, here you go, guys, here's my chips, and I, I decided to leave when all my friends busted out. So what about the Chinese poker tournament you have here? I know you have a table over in the corner of the poker room. It's something most poker rooms in Vegas don't have. They don't have. So I know everybody was asking for Chinese poker. A lot of place, places said they want to run, they have to run mixes with, to play Chinese here. You can play Chinese and as low and as big as you want. And we have a Chinese poker table, which is pretty cool. Or you can make it like a heads up table. It's pretty neat. We have an, an extra table, actually. There's only one here, but okay. we have another one in the back. and. Uh, and we rented Chinese poker tournament. We're probably gonna run a few of those. We rent it on July fifth for five thousand. We, we had thirty one players. It's a pretty good job, you know. The, a bunch of guys were asking me to run a tournament a week before we can have perform. We got thirty one players. It yeah, dur and it was during the anti up for Africa, so the time and, and the World Series, so the timing wasn't that great, but we had a great turnout. So if players come here and they want to play Chinese poker, will they put a game together if like a couple players showed up? Oh, of course. I mean. We had a, a, a few guys play them um, about last week. We had Eric Linger in here and Nanad Medic. And, uh, and they can choose the stakes friends. too if the game's not going? Oh yeah, they, they could play with me. You know, whatever they want, as big as they want. So what reaction have you had being here in the poker room? Having people see you being like, oh geez, that's the grinder here in the poker room. Uh, a lot of people were excited to play with me and you know, it, it's a thrill. And, and also, a half hour before the tournament starts, they give like a question and answers, you know, any tips they, they like to know and or how to play a tournament or cash game style, whatever they like to know. So it, it's really helpful. It's, it's, worth the, it's worth $120 buying. So when you are giving these lessons before the tournament or whatever you would like to call them, what do you run into with the players? Are they experienced players or do you sometimes get some whack questions? Well, we'll find out on Monday. So oh, it starts, it begins July, this Monday? starts July, July 30th. Okay. So we'll, we'll find out. I mean, you know, more people are going to want, you know, autographs, you know, greetings, hi, how you doing? You, you know, you're going to get all crazy kind of questions, but, you know, hopefully I'll have all answers to all of them. So when you're playing tournaments here, do you find that the players are gunning for you a little bit? Uh, it's go it's anywhere you go, people are gunning for me. That's the way <laughs> the book world is, and they see a pro, and they want to just, you know, try to grab and get all the chips, and, and I even heard a story the other day, somebody was telling me yesterday, like, Someone was talking about the table at Mandalay Bay, how they busted me out of a, a, a tournament and how they were so excited. So, I mean, you know, it's, I guess it's a thrill to, to bust one of the pros if, if you don't play with them as much, you know. And it's, I guess it's a good feeling and people like to come after you, but it's okay. fine. I know how to adjust and adapt to those kind of styles. Do you think that it's going to be more common for poker pros to affiliate themselves with a poker room in the future? Well, hopefully, you know, it's something different, you know, everyone's with an online site, and I said, let me do, do something different, and I decided to be with a land-based casino, and I thought, it's a great opportunity. So when Planet Hollywood designed this new poker room, because it is a fairly new poker room, did they ask your advice on anything? Well, it, it was kind of designed after, oh, but, okay. it was, but I, I, I put in the TVs, they didn't have TVs before, and, you know, That's I, important. The tournaments. I said we need Chinese, you know, ch tables, we need more tables, you know, and I can always add a few more things, and if it's just poking, it's busy, really busy, we have no more room, we're going to push it out and expand it. 
great. Well, thank you very much, and good luck here with Planet Hollywood. Thank you very much, Liz. Lizzie Harrison with Mike Mizraki for Card Player TV.